Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to Bass Box and Outdoors. Uh, today we got the Mystery Tackle Box Elite for the month of March. Uh, mine got here a little bit late. Normally it gets here a little bit early, but uh, seems like I've been having a problem with that lately. It seems like all my boxes have been getting here kind of late. But uh, anyways, enough about that. Sorry about the not putting up videos for a little while. I've been running so far behind. I've got all these boxes stacked up and stuff that I need to do videos on. Uh, but I've been working doubles for the past two weeks and I've just been wore out. I haven't been able to put up videos. So for all of y'all that know that work and work doubles and stuff, y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I went and got cleaned up and uh, decided I'd make a video. Uh, so I hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget, tomorrow we will be doing the every other Sunday giveaway. So maybe one of y'all will get lucky and win you a good old box. So let's uh, dive into this. First up, we got our sticker. Cool looking little sticker out there. I really like it. We got a what's in the box card. We got this uh, card about the rattle bots. These things are really cool. I like them. Y'all, if y'all been watching my channel, y'all know that I bought it a few of these whenever they came out which now you can't buy them so that's pretty cool and we got a good uh, monthly spotlight which is the Guggen clickbait that's cool and we got the dibbles and tricks this is kind of cool they changed it up from that little video blue booklet to this This one has a beginner's look at uh, fishing reels, the ultimate pre-spawn fishing, fishing tips, how to catch trout in rising water, easy walleye pattern for rising temps, and jerk bait fishing 101, and from the garage to the mystery tackle box, what I straight up love about fishing. Pretty cool. These things are pretty cool. They got pretty good information in them. All right, so let's start with what's on top. Uh, hey, they were even nice enough to throw me another sticker. <laughs> I noticed that mine's been a little bit different than what everybody else got this month. All right, so first up, for $9.99, we got the Yozuri Knuckle Bait. Uh, this one's in Pearl White. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, basically just like a uh, spinner bait, but they put this little ball on there instead of a blade. Uh, I'm not too sure about these. I've gotten this before. And uh, I'm not going to open it because I'm going to throw it in the giveaway box. But uh, I like a lot of stuff that Yozuri makes, but I'm not sure about this. And as you hear it, I don't know if you can or not, but uh, that little ball has a rattle on the inside. But anyways, uh, they say that they work really good. I mean... I haven't had no luck on them, but that's just me. So, anyways, that's going to go in the giveaway box. So I'm not going to open it, all right? I'm sure y'all won't be mad about that. Next up, uh, 
we have the Booyah Flex 2. This is a thread fin shed. It is uh, dives two to five feet. It's half an ounce. And if I had to guess, it's probably about a two and a quarter inch bait. Neat looking bait. We're gonna get this one on out of here because I've only got one of these and I don't have that color, so. These are real cool. They're a mix between a uh, balsa and a uh, plastic. So, real cool. They I'm happy to get that. This uh, square bill is kind of weird. It's got like little bubbles in it. And from what I know, it's supposed to disperse water better. It's like supposed to build water up in front of it like little jets and then kind of spew it out so it's really cool i like it the paint job's good got those mean looking little eyeballs and uh got that wide underbelly with that little bit of pink so anyways nice looking bait i like it and that one's going for 9.99 I guess I better keep that packaging because I got to do another video here on the, on the, the uh, comparisons. Next up, we have the Guggen Squad Clickbait. This one is a sexy shad uh, with three eighths ounce. Get a little bait. Uh, if y'all watched any of my videos, y'all seen where I took this out and tried it out. It's got a pretty good action. But I will tell you this whenever you throw it out there, unless you're just real, really slow, this thing will rise to the surface and it'll stay right below the surface. And that little thing, little blade on there, you'll see it'll make like a wake. It'll be like a wake bait. Uh, y'all know these little beads on there to make it click whenever it goes back and forth. That's why it's got its name, the clickbait. And then it's got double keepers, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, all in all, great little bait, clickbait. And I know this is a hybrid in between a chatterbait and like a scrounger or uh, any type of vibrating jig. It's their take on basically a vibrating jig. And you know the profiles on the, on theirs is a lot bigger than most. Most of them stick to a compact profile, so it's neat. It's a bigger profile and they got that listed for $8.99 and like I said I'll go back and show you what I found it for and stuff like that later on in the next video so next up we got a Lunker Hunt Froglet for $8.29 alright so this is kind of neat Top water walk bait. Uh, it's in pearl. It's a four inch, half ounce. Huh. I could see that working really well. It looks almost like a, a spook. Or you could say it looks like a turd, one of the two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I could really see where that would work. It's a soft rubber material, kind of like of a frog. And uh, 
the weight is right back here towards the rear but I would imagine that's going to work something like a fluke does. Great looking little bait. I know these have been out for a little while. Uh, I've never had, never bought one, so that'll be neat. I don't have that bait yet, so I would definitely be keeping that one and giving it a shot because that's kind of neat. That that's that's basically what that is, a little basically like a spook profile topwater bait that's made out of a soft rubber so and like i said that's running for 829 is what they say next up is the biospawn rattlebot crawl and this one's in a magma color and they say that running at 799 and if y'all watch my channel, y'all know that I bought these before. Neat little bait. And I even did a little tank review on them. And they fall, on this case, this one falls rear end up where the crawl looks like it's sitting in a defensive mode. And if you have the bait profile version, it swims down like head on. So really good bait got really good hooks on it and i will tell you like the profiles of the bait fish and this one look different but there's also whenever you look at some of them some of them are actually totally different from the other two so there's i think there's almost like three different patterns they have of this bait where the the profile of the bait looks different but you really got to look at them and you can see the difference in them they're a different shape but yeah nice color this time of the year that'll work really well good bait good bait and those are sold out huh? you can't even get them next up is a lake fork tackle live magic minnow or shed for $5.99 and this is the first lake fork bait that I've had I haven't tried them these are a 3.5 inch uh, watermelon red pearl Thunderhawk lures. Wow. Look at this. If y'all look at that, that says Thunderhawk lures. So, I wonder if Thunderhawk had a... I'm going to have to get a hold of somebody and talk to them about these because... Uh, that's weird. Thunderhawk lures. Wow, that's something different. Yeah, I'm definitely going to talk to somebody I know about these, see what, what, why they're in there. See if I can get one out without tearing it up. There we go. All right. Neat little profile. Now, I can imagine these work really well as like a, a trailer bait. The fin goes sideways instead of upward. Uh, or you just swim it by itself. That's really neat. I like that. Cool little bait. But like I said, I'm going to get a hold of somebody at Thunderhawk Lures and get them to explain why their name is on the back of this. I wonder if they didn't like maybe partner up with Lake Fork or something and help them make this lure and that's why their name's on the back of it. But that's cool. That's cool to see Thunderhawk involved in something like that because y'all know that I'm, you know, on their pro staff. So that's really neat. I like it. And those were at uh, $5.99. So. 
Next up is the 10,000 fish shimmer shad, five inch violet shad is the color. And I'm really excited about getting these because they used to only come in one size. They used to only come in this size right now. So this is the four inch. They used to only come in three and four, and so now they got a five inch, which is really cool. And I've got the same color up, or I like this color, so I'm glad to see that they did a five inch, because you can use this like a fluke. And so yeah, that's gonna be exciting. I'm definitely gonna throw this around like a fluke. I like that they got the little the little uh, full on the inside so that makes a, a crunchy feeling whenever a bass grabs it they'll feel that crunch and you know if they're eating a minnow they're crunching bones and stuff so uh that helps with the natural feel of it and not only that it acts as a reflector so really good i like it i will say that these baits are a little on the expensive side to be just getting four uh I wish that they would give you like five or six, but they don't. And, uh, but all in all, like I said, they're good bait. I use the four inch a little bit every now and then for drop shots and the three inch for a drop shot. So these will be really nice. I can use these like a flute. I think it's cool that they sent it in one of my favorite colors by them, the Violet Shed. Uh, so that was the 10,000 Fish Shimmer Shed. Next up, we have the 3 inch Gambler Little Otter. And I like Gambler baits, and they got these for 213. And you can smell the garlic. These are kind of cool. They got these little boot tails on the sides of them for little legs and then that big old flapper. Uh, so really nice looking bait. This is a sample pack and it's got me kind of worried because that's one of the reasons why I left Mystery Tackle Box is because they were sending sample packs in every box. But I noticed, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think the Pro Box this month got it a sample pack i think they got something totally different i could be wrong but if that be the case i just hope they ain't going to go down that trend of sending sample packs uh i don't know why they did this month because they they went so long without sending us sample packs other than sample pack hooks but all everybody does that so i'm not worried about that these are eagle claw laser sharp wide gap worm hook size four up there's three in there for a dollar fifty is what they got it for uh nothing wrong with eagle claw hook the laser sharp edition or line i should say work really good i like them and they're cheap but uh i just i hope and pray that they're not going to start sending samples back out again i hope this was just uh you know a one-time thing because if I start seeing samples every month, I ain't going to keep them. Either that or I'll drop down to the pro box, one of the two. So let's do a little recap. We got the Gamber, Gamble, Gambler, Little Otter. I can't talk. We got the 10,000 Fish Shimmer Shad, the 5 inch. We got the Lake Fork. Uh, live magic shad garlic and salt impregnated I'm gonna have to look into this because I'm kind of curious why Thunderhawk's name's on the back of this I'll have to look into that biospawn rattlebot we got the lunker hunt frog look we got the booyah flex 2 we got the Guggen Squad clickbait. And we got the Yozuri 
knuckleball. Like I said, that'll be thrown in the giveaway. That's why I didn't open it. So, that's this month's box. Uh, I think it was a pretty good box, really. It had a variety of, you know, different water columns. Uh, some baits that haven't been in the box before. So, you know, that's always a plus. And it was just a variety and mixture of good companies. I really liked that. You know, they covered, they covered different water columns. So, uh, they get a, a solid B, maybe A minus from me. But my opinion don't matter. I would like to know what y'all thought about this, this box. How do you think they did? Uh, so yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm impressed with it. That's a little bit better of a box than I've seen from some other companies this month. Uh, which I'm going to talk to y'all about later. I've got a little bit of an issue with a uh, company and I want to talk to y'all and see what y'all think and get y'all's opinion on, but we're going to wait for a later day on that. Uh, anyways. That's uh, this month's mystery tackle box. Don't forget we got the little sticker. I'm throw this in one in the giveaway since they gave me two of them. Uh, so anyways, I appreciate y'all taking time out of y'all's night to watch. And be sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, and be sure to comment. Y'all know I like talking to y'all, so get in on it. Make sure to go back and get on that every other Sunday giveaway. I'll be doing the drawing tomorrow for that. So anyways, next time, have a great night.